Okay, quickly carrying on here. We're making the teapot. This is the lid and the spout here. And these lumps of clay are, let's see, I can't remember how much they are. They're not very much. They're, well, half a pound, half a pound of clay. For these, that's possibly too much clay, I have to say, but um, it can vary from teapot to teapot. But anyway, um, half a pound there. The teapot body is two pounds and just covering up that teapot there that I had not covered before so right let's let's make let's make the, the teapot lid now there's lots of different ways of making a teapot lid okay this is probably the simplest way and it also can make quite a nice lid. All right. So now we measured it, didn't we, with the with the calipers? So basically, we're going to don't throw it too thin in a base here. Okay, leave enough through the bottom there because you may have to just trim it a little bit. All right. So with the with the already set calipers, I am measuring the the opening here. Now I've got to remember that this this lid so the measurement that we took here was the exterior measurement. So we're now I've got to measure the inside because this has got to has got to fit down over the the gallery, you see. It's all very high tech stuff, you know. <laughs> used to work in a helicopter factory. We used to have to. I was an engineer working on a lathe, and uh, we were we were machining aluminium or, or beryllium copper, aluminium mild steel, stainless steel, things like that. But everything had to be within like a thousandth of an inch, you know. So, but we do similar sorts of things, you know. Well, I suppose it's, it's a similar, it's a, just a different kind of turning, isn't it? All right, so, with the stick, very important, clean the outside, okay, and just put in a light undercut. Get your leather, and just leather in. Right, now, Let's cut him off. Dry our hands, especially the tips of our fingers, because that's what we're going to use to get him off. You see, we're going to lift him like this, you see? That's how you get him off. Put that fella over there. And the next thing we've got to do is make the spout. So again, about half a pound. Get him on centre. Now with the spout, we're going to go down with our finger right to the, the wheel head, all right? So I'm pushing right the way down, like that. Now I've got to, I've got to bring him out. I've got to widen him at the base. So I'm doing that, you see, like that. Now bringing him in, bring the clay up, Okay, you see how it's developing? Now I've got six points of contact. And it's really coloring, coloring the spout. And what you do is you collar it like that, and then you stick your finger inside, and then you use your finger and you, you bring the clay up because it's become thick here because you've collared it. So we're going to now grab some clay and bring it up, you see, like this. Right. 
what I'm looking for when I'm making a spout like this is a nice curve here on the side of the spout. All right. A curve that sort of, you know, a curve that doesn't have any hitches in it or flat spots. Okay. So, now don't worry about the top if it's going up and down a little bit. That is not a problem. And what I'm looking for is. Oh, here it is. This is a. A, a rib. And now with these, you'll notice that I don't use ribs. Sorry. I'll throw it on the floor, won't you? <laughs> you notice I don't use ribs very often, but one of the times I do use a rib is. is when I am throwing a teapot spout. The, I'm going to cut the, 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 the top off here because it's going around in a bit of a... Okay, so now, if you take this, what I do is I just, I just lightly use this to clean off the, the slurry here on the side of the of the teapot spout. Okay. Okay, and that's that's it. So next thing is getting it getting him off, isn't it? Well we're just gonna we're just gonna cut him off like that. Now you'll make sure your hand, hand is nicely dry because we're gonna we're gonna grab him like this. <coughs> no we're just gonna grab him like that and we're gonna you see? Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> so that's the teapot spout. You can see it there from the inside. That's it from the outside. The way you can get it off is like this. All right, and put in there on the side. So he'll be ready for putting together uh, shortly. Well, when he's dried off. Meanwhile, I've got that other one. That waiting. Okay, so sign of each thing. Keep practicing. See you soon.